please mute yourself um, during the meeting so we can so everyone can hit the discussion. And we ask that you post any questions um, in the chat box, and we will address any questions um, at the end of the meeting. And then we will um, open it up if there is any additional discussion. So uh, please mute yourself. And also, um, this meeting um, is being recorded. This is the community meeting for Golden Triangle Boulevard, Misty Redwood Trail, Dry, uh, Trail to Interstate Highway 35 West. My name is uh, Leon Wilson. I'm the City Project Manager in Transportation and Public Works. My contact information is on the screen, leon.wilson at fortworthtexas.gov, 817-392-6591. Philip Graham is also uh, with us today with We Associates. Um, there are the, he's the design project manager for our engineering consultant, which is We Consultants. The agenda for today: we'll go over some project history, uh, location map, the existing conditions for the project, a project description, an exhibit, a uh, brief status update, as well as a project schedule and we'll take questions um, at the end. So just to give a little project history, because uh, it's been some time since this project was first introduced, in June of 2018, City Council approved the engineering contract, and it was part of the 2018 bond program. At that time, it only included intersection improvements at Harmon Road, which were a roundabout at the time. So in January of 2019, uh, we had a community meeting to present the roundabout design um, at Harmon Road. And in August 2019, based on the feedback from the community, the project description was changed to replace the roundabout design with a signalized intersection at Harmon. And there was a lot of feedback to extend the limits of the roadway improvements, which now go from uh, Misty Redwood to I-35. So we we had to go back and essentially scope the project over because initially it was just the intersection around the bout. So in April 2020, uh, City Council approved the engineering contract amendment for the design changes that included, as I mentioned, a signalized intersection at Harmon, and we extended the project limits to reach the Misty Redwood Trail and I-35. So between May 2020 in December uh, of this of 21, I'm sorry, we redesigned the intersection. Um, we designed the roadway improvements to the new limits, and essentially that was essentially a new uh, project. So we had to survey the site, um, complete roadway and storm drainage design, street light layouts, design of some water line adjustments, and preparation of right of way and easement parcels um, that are necessary for the roadway. So what I'm showing now is the project location map. It's, the project is Golden Triangle, located just west of I-35, um, between I-35 and Bonds Ranch. Actually, that's Harmon that goes north-south at Bonds Ranch. And Golden Heights uh, ties into the new roadway as well as Harmon Road. And the limit is stated as Misty Redwood Trail, it's actually um, about 500 feet north of Misty Railroad Trail. That's just to give a reference of the uh, starting point. But the starting point is actually 500 feet north of uh, Misty Railroad Trail. And it goes to the uh, service road of I-35. And initially, as I mentioned, there was a roundabout at Harmon Road, and the current design is a signalized intersection. So the existing conditions, the portion of concrete pavement uh, just north of uh, Misty Railway Trail will remain. We will build the uh, northbound travel lanes in this section. And this is the section at Harmon and Golden Heights. And we essentially curve around the warehouse uh, structure there and we rebuild the existing Golden Triangle all the way to 
I-35. The project includes a four-lane divided roadway, 10-foot shared use path, um, illumination, traffic signal at Harmon Road. It will realign the intersection of Golden Heights and Harmon Road with the new roadway, connect any adjacent driveways with the new roadway, and also install any uh, roadway storm drainage. So this is an exhibit of the proposed roadway, which as I mentioned, is four lanes divided, starting just north of Misty Redwood Trail, and tying Golden Heights um, into the new, new roadway with left turns, retired Harmon Road, which is signalized uh, with a left turn northbound onto Harmon Road. And we extend all the way to I-35, essentially. And we will have medians. The medians will be grassed. Um, and we will have sidewalks on both sides of the uh, roadway and also a portion of Harmon Road that we're constructing will have sidewalks as well. Currently the project is 90% complete. We're in right away in easement acquisition now. Franchise utility companies are reviewing the plans for the necessary relocations in the area. I think currently there's Tri-County, Encore, AT&T, and others that need to uh, relocate uh, prior to our construction. So here's a uh, summary of the project schedule. Uh, have November 2022 complete right away in easement acquisitions and immediately following the easement acquisitions, the franchise utilities can make their relocations. In some areas, we haven't acquired the right away where the franchise utilities need to relocate. So it's vital that we have the right of way completed before we proceed to utility relocations. And upon finishing relocations, we advertise the project, which is estimated for April 2023, with an actual construction start estimated as August, September 23. And prior to the construction start, we have another community meeting where we have the contractor at the meeting um, to ask to answer any construction specific questions. And we're estimating construction to last about a year, which will put us in September 24. If the right-of-way acquisition is, takes a short amount of time, obviously we can relocate utilities quicker and advertise quicker. And conversely, if it takes slightly longer to acquire the right-of-way, um, that could push the relocations back as well as the advertising for construction. And with that, that concludes the uh, presentation. And I will see if we have any chat. Jeff, can you let me know if we have any chat um, questions? There are, there's nothing in chat at the moment. Well, we'll, if anyone has anything they'd like to ask, um, please unmute yourself. For those that are calling users, the, um, uh, it's star six to unmute um, if you were muted earlier because of some background noise. But uh, if, you're, if you're not muted, feel free. Are those guys with the American track, are they online here too? I am not sure who's in the meeting. Because that, that guy, last time there was questions about this, was pretty upset about the whole deal. As I understand, that was prior to my time, but I understand he was, there was some concern about the roundabout, if I'm not mistaken, about his trailer being able to, I guess, make those turns in the roundabout. Yeah. Uh, but, so we no longer have the roundabout, it's a standard intersection. Um, be a light right there, right, Kurt? Yeah, so it'll be a traffic light right there, huh? And Harmon, yeah, Harmon will tee into the new Golden Triangle with a traffic signal. And how about Golden Heights? What what's will there be a stop sign or a, or Golden Heights would be in a stop condition and Golden Triangle would be through traffic. It would be a median opening and left um, 
left turn bay going to Golden Heights to the west. So yes, there'll be a stop sign on Golden Heights, but Golden Triangle will be through traffic. Well, you know, we used to have just a stop sign on Golden Heights, and it was always kind of a, a hard issue to make that left-hand turn. Uh, I don't know, a month or two ago, the city came out and put stop signs on all three sides of that, and it's been easier. Okay, we'll note that um, we'll, right now there's, Philip, am I wrong? Is that a stop condition on Golden Heights now? Because I don't think we have that signalized right now. No, there's no signal, and there's no signal. That it's no, yeah, I mean in our plan, in our proposal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I second that with Kirk's uh, idea. We really need a stop on Golden Triangle at Golden Heights because it's impossible to get out of our neighborhood without it. Well, we'll take a look at that. Leon, if yes. you recall, we are doing a uh, traffic signal warrant study at, yeah. uh, yeah. at Golden Heights right now and um, to see if a, a, an additional signal would be warranted there. And if depending on the results of that study, then the city, I guess, uh, I guess you guys at the city will evaluate whether or not we add another signal to the project. Thanks, Philip, for reminding me. Yeah, as Philip mentioned, um, he's actually performing a study, as he mentioned. To, uh, to see what, if it, you know, justifies the signal there. So, yeah, we are looking at it. I'm sorry, I've, I had forgotten about that. So we're looking it's at a, that. It, it's a short runway from the Golden Triangle to right there. So if there's a light, it's it can't be a real long light, I guess. But yeah. I, I can tell you that adding those two stop signs on the side of Golden Triangle instead of and the one at Golden Heights really has made a positive difference. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, like Philip mentioned, we are doing a warrant study, so we'll we we are taking a look at it. Leon, one thing I'd like to say is, um, Golden Triangle is closed down further if past um, Misty, whatever Misty Meadows or whatever. It is. So anything past that right now is local traffic only. And it's closed because they're doing all that work on Herman right now. What is the scheduling going to be with um, this project versus the Harmon Road project? Well, this road is uh, right now, if we stay on schedule with our right-of-way acquisition. It's to start uh, fall of 2023. Mm -hmm. I am not sure of the Harmon. I know they're in progress. They're well ahead of us. I see Raul is the uh, yeah. managers chiming I, I in. Okay, yeah. thank you, Rose. Sorry, this is from the PNG manager that oversees the uh, planning construction of the operation report. Harmon Road is under my portfolio, so that should be completed by March of 2023. So, well, my oh, concern with is my concern is with the Harmon Road traffic we have now. Um, we have a lot of cut throughs through our neighborhood. And with Golden Triangle being, you know, just local traffic right now, and if you start this project before the Harmon Road is, is done, it's going to be a nightmare to get home. So, as Raul mentioned, uh, I'm not sure if everyone could hear him. Right now, Harmon Road is scheduled to be complete March of 23, and we are right now scheduled um, to start construction September of 23. So, right Thank now, you. there shouldn't be any overlap in uh, those two projects. Thank yeah, you. I, I could not hear him. Yeah, you had a little feedback, Raul, but. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes, I, I just wanted to add, you know, in follow up to the earlier comment about Golden Heights and the additional stop signs they put on Golden Triangle. Um, it's helped tremendously. I think that three way stop there would be definitely necessary because I. I'm always scared that there's going to be an accident there. It's, it's very dangerous when it was just one stop. The way it is today is perfect. There has been accidents there. Oh, Multiple yeah. accidents. And, and that is why everyone we are, we're doing a traffic warrant study to, to look at that now. My concern is going to be once Bonds Ranch opens up, we're not going to have just local traffic. We're going to have all the semis from all the logistic companies cutting through to hit 287. And that's going to be a nightmare trying to get out of the road safely at Golden Heights and Golden Triangle as well. Okay, thank you.
Do we have any other additional questions or comments? Seems like the primary concern with the, with the Carlos we have is the access to Golden, well, the, the condition at Golden Heights, which we are uh, performing a traffic uh, warrant study now. Uh, so we'll have an idea of what we're going to do after we complete that warrant study. And will there be another meeting at that time? No, we typically at night, we're at 90. Um, we'd have one before uh, we do construction. But what I could do, I'm trying to remember, are you guys within North Fort Worth Alliance? Or is your area in that um, neighborhood alliance? No. I guess what I'm saying is I could send yes. it out. I could, once on that particular issue, we won't have another meeting, but I could send out what the uh, what we intend to do as far as that Golden Heights intersection. Yeah, um, that's what we'd appreciate. Most of us are in that Tahama Ridge. Tahama Ridge, okay. Yeah, we're Tahama Ridge. Also. Okay. All right, Tahama Ridge. I have a question when it yeah. comes to Golden Triangle. Once the expansion is complete, right now it is set for no trucks to go down Golden Triangle. So they all go down Golden Heights, but will it be allowed that the semis and all will be allowed to go through Golden Triangle after the expansion is complete? That hasn't been established. Uh, there's a process for that. Um, so I can't tell you uh, right now. We can, I can note that as a concern. Um, but like I said, there's a process to have no truck uh, pass. Um, as far as access, I will tell you that becomes, even if it is marked no trucks, it becomes really a um, enforcement issue. But we'll, I'll add that to the list. To, uh, yeah, to it that. really is hard to enforce. I understand that. Yes. Our concern is there is a four lane road farther down with a school crossing. Yes. To an elementary school. Yes, we'll, we'll definitely look at what it takes to to have a no truck route and what criteria that needs to uh, to meet that that signage. So that's been one of our biggest problems is with all these warehouses, all these eighteen wheelers, and several of them keep getting stuck right now under thirty five, where they're trying to work on Golden Triangle under thirty five. Yes, uh, probably about once a week, an eighteen wheeler gets stuck Can there. Can you ask them when that project's going to be completed? Do you know when that part will be completed? No, that's a text dot project, so I don't have a good time frame on that. <clears throat> that works. Mr. Wilson, this is Robert Gordon. I'm late to the meeting because I have to get home from traffic. But um, you may have covered it while I was before I got here. But will there be any additional traffic lights put in Golden Triangle past the Golden Heights further down toward Harmon? Yeah. So yeah, I think you missed it, Mr. Gordon. At Harmon Road, there will be a traffic signal where. It ties into the new aligned golden triangle. But there won't be any in the middle there. We say in the middle. Between Golden Heights and Harmon. Oh, no, in? no, no. Because now all the people there in Tom are going to have the same issues that people coming off of Golden Heights had with getting across that highway. Yeah, right now, the only possible additional signal is at Golden Heights. Um, and that's because we're doing a warrant study. Uh, right now to see if it meets warrants. So we definitely have one in design at Harmon Road and we are looking at Golden Heights, but there won't be any additional um, possible signal locations other than those two. So I'm sorry, what what is the cross street that may appear that may need a signal so that I can take note of it and pass it to our traffic engineer? Well, it's just one of those streets on, on on Golden Triangle after you get past Golden Heights, there's Misty Redwood, and then there's, I don't know what the next one is that goes because of school. But as traffic comes around the Golden Triangle and gets onto Golden Triangle past Golden Heights, it speeds up. And to the more, south. Yeah, well, the south. yeah, south toward Harmon. It speeds up, and I'm sure it'll speed up going the other direction as well because now they have you no know, things slowing them down. So, Ralph, Misty Redwood is the next major, I say major, to, uh, no local streets tied into Golden Triangle from the neighborhoods on each side. Right. So it's Misty Redwood Trail um, is yeah. the location. There's okay. Misty Redwood Trail and there's one where the crosswalk is to the school. Yeah, Los Barros Trail is what it is. Yeah, so you got Los Barros Trail, Misty Redwood Trail. 
And I'm just saying right now, the, just with local traffic, there's, you know, on five o'clock and nine o'clock traffic goes really fast in that area. And also a lot of it is increasing when you open the floodgates. There's going to be a lot of traffic on that road, so people won't be able to get out of the neighborhood. Well, I think Raul will pass that along. I will say there are limits as to how many signals you can put up and spacing and whatnot, but Raul is going to pass that along to our traffic, our traffic uh, management uh, division. So clarify for me, are you doing the traffic study at Golden Heights now? It's in progress now. So it, you're wasting your time doing it now because Bonds Ranch is closed. No traffic is coming through there, which is a lot of traffic when it's open. You well, we're trying to keep the project on pace. I mean, we are we don't want to wait. Well, but you're going to have misinformation. You're going to do it when 90 or 80 percent of the traffic is not coming through where it, like it does normally. So you're going to determine that you don't need a light and that's going to mess all of us up. Well, I mean, let's see what we get. We haven't determined whether or not a signal. So I, I, I note your concern that it doesn't have the normal uh, flow of traffic because of the, the work in the other areas. So I understand what you're saying, but. Let, let's complete the traffic warrant study first and because we're not sure what it's going to say, but we will note that. Uh, I understand that it's not getting the, the normal traffic it would get because of the, the other work. Well, you stated that there won't be another meeting after this to discuss what the findings were, so we won't be able to voice consent or dissent against what you're saying. There, there, is, there was a at back in uh, 2018, there was a, a, uh, overall study to anal uh, to look at the intersections. So we, we do have some traffic data to compare today's data against and uh, and I'll pass that the sub consultant that's doing that study. I'll pass this uh, concern on to them and uh, make sure that they um, compare and evaluate that with their the data they previously collected at Golden Heights. About four years ago, because we've had a tremendous amount of houses built and all these logistic centers. The traffic is night and day what it was three years ago. Correct. The traffic is worse because of the more houses and everything that's been building. Okay, everyone, we will we'll take a look at that and we'll we'll see because we're not sure. We'll look at the 2018 numbers with the understanding that is much more traffic um, from what I understand and was in the area in 2018 due to the increase in homes that have been constructed in the area. Uh, but we will take that into consideration. Okay, well, I'd, I'd just like to know what the what, what you find from that before you, uh, you know, before that next meeting. Is there any way we can get email on the decision? Yeah, yeah. I mentioned that I would. I, are you in Tahoma Ridge as well? Yes. Yeah, I mentioned that once we have a path forward on that, um, I could send something to, to Homer Ridge uh, HOA representative that we have on file. Okay. And to, uh, yeah, if those that are interested in updates, if you want to put your uh, email address in the chat. Yeah, so, I, I'm with the Presidio Vista um, Homeowners Association, so that would be good to have as well. Studio Village? Yes, sorry. Okay. As, as Raul mentioned, everyone that has an email, would you please put it in the chat as well? Um, I would include you on, as well as the HOAs, I would include you on that same correspondence. Okay, well, there's mine. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. Yeah, How I do see you there. get into the chat? Oh, there it is. Bottom right corner. Yeah, I see them popping up uh, several. So it seems like the, the as soon the first uh, thing I need to convey to everyone is the the fourth path forward after we do the warrant study at Golden Heights. That seems to be the primary. Um, concern. I know we have the no through truck signage as well. Um, and there was also the question about additional possible signals for the south on the existing roadway, which will pass to uh, traffic management. But as far as the Golden Heights uh, road that intersects this project, 
that will be something I will definitely get back um, to everyone on by email and by correspondence with your HOA. Do you know who we can hear from to find out about the um, Golden Triangle under 35? Um, I'm not, I could try to find a text doc. Raul, do you know of a text doc contact for that? The only person that I know is Val Lopez. He's their, you know, uh, public relations person. That is the only person that I know so far. Uh, what we can do is we can just track somebody and then include it in the updates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because that's creating havoc, tell them. Yeah, because that's that, you know, as far as our neighborhood right now, that's one of the main problems is getting in and out because of the truck being stopped over there. The other one, obviously, is, as you have mentioned, is the Golden Heights Road intersection. I think, well, so based on the conversation, I think we've addressed, um, not addressed, but we've we've noted everyone's concerns. Uh, for and I will, as as I mentioned, I'll get back with everyone once we have a path forward. Uh, and if you think of any questions after the meeting, my email. Let me go back to my email. So my email is Leon dot Wilson at fortworthtexas.gov is on the screen. Um, if you search Golden Triangle on the city's website for projects, my contact info is also there. So if you have other um, questions or something you think of, um, even now and during construction, that's my contact info. Um, Raul put it in the uh, chat as well. So if we don't have any additional uh, questions, I think we will conclude the meeting. Leon, this is Jason. I, I'm more with the commercial warehouses to the north of Golden Triangle. Could you just walk me through the transition, especially the truck movements from Golden Triangle headed north onto Harmon Road at the corner of that SEVA warehouse? So where are you on this photo? I'm sorry, on this exhibit? I'm sorry. I had to call in while I'm waiting in traffic. Oh, okay. So I'm okay. Not <laughs> All right. Uh, so you, the I west mean, end of Golden Triangle, where it hits Harmon Road, there at the the smaller warehouses where the CrossFit gym and okay. the high performance. Yeah, gym. yeah. So that Harmon Road now, you know, it, it well, you know, Golden Triangle tees into Harmon Road, right? That's right. So, do you know? Well, obviously, you know the the recent uh, warehouse that's kind of an angle across from that intersection, and then with that big yep. open space. So we have a curve that curves around that area and ties back into Golden Triangle at Golden Heights. But Harmon will be realigned to curve into um, the larger curve on Golden Triangle at a 90 degrees. So essentially that Harmon Road will be extended from where it is now mm -hmm. and T into the new Golden Triangle in the, cur in the curve with a it will be signalized traffic light, um, and you have a left turn lane bay on Golden Triangle because it's four lane divided. So next section will be five lanes with a left lane turning north onto Herman, and Harmon will be two lanes um, itself. So do you have a map of that? It's on the screen now. Oh, you're calling. Yeah, I have one. We're going to put this on the, I think Jeff is going to put it on the website for me as well. This, uh, this presentation and it's under in the, in the slides, it's called proposed roadway. And it, it clearly shows the new alignment, the new roadway as well as Harmon road, golden Heights. It also shows the drive way tie-ins from the various, uh, businesses. Okay, so I, I finally got on a little bit late because I was having technical difficulties getting into WebEx. Uh, I was just looking, wanting to look at the other maps that you had where actually a Harmon Road goes into Golden Triangle. I don't see that. Do you see the one that says proposed roadway? Yes, but I don't see Harmon on there. You is see, that Harmon? Golden Triangle the is Harmon? So what I, we're calling Golden Triangle is the main roadway, the the wide light gray roadway 
And you see Harmon Road at the top of the screen. It has Harmon Road, and it's a it's little. Direct, it's directly it's under the small P of the post roadway. That's where it starts curving into Golden Triangle. There you go. Use, use the pointer there. Can you use the pointer, uh, Leon? Can you? So there you go. Can you see it now? Okay, so yeah. that's Harmon Road coming from Heritage Trace. That's coming from. No, that's coming from Keller Hicks. Keller yeah. Hicks. Okay. Yeah, Harmon Road now is a north south uh, southerly road, and it will curve. We'll realign it into the new roadway here, and it remains the same north of this area. The whole thing with Harmon Road is weird because it lead, ends there and then picks back up uh, at the end of Golden Heights. Yeah, yeah. actually, <laughs> we, in our sis, our GS system has this small portion as Harmon, and Harmon on the other side of Golden Heights. Uh, it's going to be slightly confusing, but we're for these for my purposes, we're calling all of this Golden Triangle um, from 35 down to the existing near Misty Redwood just to. For simplification. So where is Tejana Ridge on this particular map? So it's my cursor, bottom. yeah, I see my cursor at the bottom left hand side. Yes. So you know that existing roadway that has a road closed sign on that's constructed. That's where we're going to tie into the new. We're going to tie our new roadway into that existing roadway that's not used. Uh, so Tejana Ridge is at the bottom corner here where my cursor is moving around. Okay. Let me go to another map. It's not quite as detailed, but do you see this one? Okay. Okay, so to Homer Ridge. makes a little Ridge, more sense to me. Thank you. Homer Ridge is here. This is Misty Redwood Trail. And this just generically shows the, the project limits. And this is Harmon. This is Harmon, turns into Golden Heights. Harmon, Golden Triangle, and Harmon again. But we're calling all of that main road Golden Triangle um, for the purposes of this project. It's just easier to discuss. When I say Golden Triangle, I mean from I-35 around the curve, past Golden Heights, tying into the existing roadway. That's Bonds or Harmon there? Bonds is the other side of Harmon. So this is Harmon. Okay. And this is Golden Triangle. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, Tahoma Ridge is on either side of, of Golden Triangle there. Now I understand. Thank you for doing that. I really ought to rename a lot of this. None of that makes sense. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, okay. I li I was making sure you could hear me. Okay. I live on Golden Triangle and my house is the barricade where it goes from like two lanes to one. If you're going towards 35. Um, my house is, a, is right behind the barricade. Um, so is that where I'm sorry, is that where the construction is going to start would be right there where that barricade is? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I have another one. So you are. This is uh, the existing roadway. And the construction will start in this area. Okay, yeah, that's like yeah. right where it ends right there. That's my yeah, house. right there. So, okay. so it's going to be 2 lanes behind my house. Uh, once it's done, right? Yeah, 2 new lanes, but it'd be 4 lanes total. So, cause right. the other two lanes from, yeah, yeah, 2 new lanes behind your home directly okay. behind your home. Yeah. Okay. I'm just worried about the noise because that's. You know, that's pretty close to the wall that's behind our house and it's already, I don't know if there's been like, I know you said the last, I guess, traffic study was in 2018, but if anyone has like looked into the noise of what it's bringing right now with just the one, no. you know, I guess the one lane well, back that, there. Well, actually it's not one, it's one lane there, but it's two right. lanes beyond there. So it's the same condition. And yeah. So city roads uh, do not, a, we don't do noise walls. I think you may be thinking about TxDOT and NTT mm -hmm. and those larger roadways of that nature. So we don't do noise walls anywhere in the city, on city roadways, on the highways, NTTA and TxDOT and various uh, highway agencies may. 
mm-hmm. it would just be a continuation of what's there now. I mean, I know you don't have that condition, but just south of you, that's the existing roadway. So right, yeah. I just didn't know with. I mean, it's uh, my neighbors put their house for sale yesterday because of this. So. Uh, I we're just kind of concerned about just how much more the traffic is going to grow and how much louder it's going to get. Well, I mean, you guys know better than me that area, mm-hmm. not just the Pacific area, but Fort North Fort Worth obviously is just exploding with growth all over, not just this right. I get area. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's my only question. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So I think we've addressed all the, or we've taken all the concerns and all the questions. Uh, and so with that, I thank everyone again for, for logging in and, and taking some time to learn about the project. Um, I will again show my contact info. Raul, I think I saw where he put up the web page, a link to the project web page on the city's website. Um, and at some point, we eventually, I think Jeff is going to get this presentation put up so you can go back and look at it um, and ask any questions or you can share it with your neighbors. And I'd like to say just thank you and everyone have a good night. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Leon. Thank you, guys. Thank you a lot. Good night. Good night. Good night.